So we've looked at lenses and the human eye and figured out what the smallest thing the human eye can see. And we know it has limited visual acuity, but if we can make lenses, we can design optical instruments that allow us to see further and smaller. These are microscopes and telescopes, and we're going to look at how these things are built and designed. Just a bit of motivation before we start that though, here are a few of the things we know because of optical microscopes. We've seen the machinery of life, so as early as 1665 there were photos of cells, in this case uh, the cells in cork taken by Robert Hooke. We know that bacteria cause disease, so Koch won the Nobel Prize for this discovery in 1905 and it was the the idea that you could have single cell organisms, organisms like bacteria that can be transmitted and cause disease, this was quite revolutionary at the time. We know that the inside of cells are full of even more detailed micro machinery, and we can now image the insides of cells with resolutions down to 20 nanometers. So this is an example of some microscopy that's done using a technique called 3D Storm. This is the reference to the uh, journal publication here. This is a really advanced kind of microscopy and the resolution here of 20 nanometers is something that if you asked uh, 20 years ago whether this was going to be possible, people were told you you're crazy. But yet optical microscopes now are imaging things down to a fraction of the optical wavelength. So these optical microscopes running at a wavelength of around you know, five or 600 nanometers. So we're talking something now which is you know, a tenth or twentieth of that wavelength in resolution. Some things we know because of optical telescopes. So these are images from a book written by uh, Edwin Hubble in, in 1936. These are images of galaxies. And until he took these pictures in 1923, no one knew that the universe was bigger than the Milky Way. So really the birth of uh, cosmology and the idea that we have some universe filled with galaxies is fairly recent in the scheme of things, certainly within the last hundred years. The, another thing that Hubble discovered was that the universe is expanding. So here are some images that he took. These are the objects that he's imaging at different distances, so 900,000 light years through to 135 million light years away. And what you see is that the further things are away, the faster they're moving. And the way he can tell is by looking at this particular spectral line here. So these are spectra. And this line here corresponds to a particular line in the calcium spectrum. And as you go further and further in distance, you see this dot here moves further and further to the right and this is in indicating an increase in redshift which in indicates an increasing velocity away from us. And so this was um, an important discovery in 1929. Controversially Hubble never won the Nobel Prize because at the time he did his work and up until his death the Nobel Prize of Physics was not allowed to be given to astronomers and that's now changed and indeed the, another discovery along these lines is the rate of expansion is increasing. So not only is the universe expanding, the rate at which it's expanding is increasing. And this got the Nobel Prize for Physics in 2011, and one of the recipients was our very own Vice-Chancellor Brian Schmidt.